My guest today is Tom Poland. Tom is a serial entrepreneur who has started a small portfolio of very different businesses. Some he's taken into international markets, four he has successfully sold, and one very nearly sent him broke. The result of his experiences has been the creation of a proprietary step-by-step -step process that entrepreneurs can follow to turn an ordinary business into a multi-million dollar asset. At last count, Tom's process had helped nearly 1,500 people across 56 different industries grow their business. Alongside all this, Tom is also an author whose work has been published in 27 countries. Our topic today is how to make your business worth millions. Hello, Tom. Thanks, Robert. Hi. So that's a pretty big headline, isn't it? How to make our business worth millions. So come on, we've got about five minutes. Get how do, down we, to it. What's how the do we do line? it? Well, there's a bunch of things people don't need to do for a start, and I'm a bit of a maverick in this area. You don't need mission statements. You don't need vision statements. You don't need value statements. Most of those are actually uh, dysfunctional and counterproductive. Um, you don't need a business plan, uh, mm -hmm. but there are some things that you do need to do. We need to, two things, in fact, uh, in big picture terms, and we can drill down. The first thing is we need to create a strategy that's really going to make um, competitors all but irrelevant. And secondly, that has to be executed. A strategy that's going to make competitors all but irrelevant. Okay, that's a big a, one. Um, yeah, a, a, a good strategy results in swift, scalable, very important word, and sustainable growth. Okay. And, and that all but makes competitors irrelevant. So when I say um, making competitors irrelevant, they are largely, what they're doing is largely irrelevant. Right. Uh, what they're not doing is probably highly relevant, but it's relevant to or relative to the specific unmet needs of a very small part of a large market, which is actually step one of okay. creating the strategy. All right, so have you got some steps to take us through? Sure. Um, okay. There's, uh, I classify strategy in, uh, in terms of eight capabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. The three what I call front room strategies are customer, uh, product, and marketing. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of back room ones, including leadership, team, data, digital, money, and so on. Um, but of all of those capabilities, there are three that I always start with, and to me, they are the supremely important ones. The number okay. one is customer, customer, and that's where we have a look at where there are specific unmet needs in a small part of a large market, and that's 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 a key. There's a couple of keys in there. Okay. One is the needs need to be unmet, either right. specifically by reason of features that aren't existing in the product or service or by the way that market's actually reached, by okay. the medium the market's reached, or, so, by, or by the message that are the three. All right, so it's looking for opportunities, looking for the gaps, is that, is that really what it is? You're looking for the gaps, yeah. to, yes, where, where those needs are not being met, okay. uh, and looking for ways to reach that market, which is also an important thing. So we start, mm. always start with customer, and that, that's the, what I call the black jelly bean product, where you, and it leads into product the strategy, where you come up with a product that appeals to a small number of people, but okay. boy, do those people absolutely love it. Hence the black uh, jelly bean. Hence the black jelly bean. Okay. Know, I love black jelly beans, so I'll ignore the <laughs> green ones and the red ones, and other people look at the black ones. But look out if there's oh, any black ones. A black one, yeah. But if you want a black jelly bean, create a black jelly bean product, that, okay. and that's it. Terrific. So that's, Point two. Start with the customer, yep. right, then go to product and make sure the product is stru structured in such a way that it's meeting those specific unmet needs, and also to those that it's scalable later on for when you've done step three. Okay. And step three, of course, is marketing. So we've got customer product marketing. They all feed off each other, but it's really important. And we do start in that order of priority, customer, product, and then marketing. With marketing, what we're looking at doing is developing a strategy and what I call a set of train tracks. So we have a series of steps for attracting and easily engaging that ideal client who has those specific unmet needs. Hmm. Now, um, those train tracks include things like attracting the client, um, you know, identifying who they are, attracting them, uh, and along with product strategy, developing a product entry, whether it's a price point or whatever it happens to be, that it's very, very easy. In fact, it's such a no-brainer value proposition that the ideal client with their specific unmet needs look at it and go, I'd be stupid not to buy that. Right. And once, once they're there, then we can move them in baby steps towards our end game product, if you like. Mm. So tell me, the system that you, you've um, designed then, as you say, this proprietary system, is it is something that a business owner can kind of plug into and you'll take them through all of these? You know, you, you're talking about issues that are very large topics. We're talking about yes. them in a very short time yep. today, but yep. um, that system will walk them through that? Is that, is that kind of I, how it I works? lead each client through that step-by-step -step process, right. and our time frame is three years. We want to add a million dollars or more 
to the earnings of the business, whether that's a solopreneur business or a, a bricks and mortar type business, yeah. uh, within the three year period. So it's okay. a very intense process. Right. And a large part of the first uh, part of this process is spent getting that plan right. Yes, okay. Um, I don't believe, uh, you know, mo mostly, I read an article just yesterday actually said people don't work hard. I don't believe that for a moment. I think most mm. people work very hard, yes. probably work too long, yeah. uh, but I'm not sure that the effort's directed on a clear, clearly articulated strategy which is going to kick some serious butt okay. in the marketplace. Right. What you're also saying there is that is that this is this is not a kind of a get rich quick. This is it takes time, doesn't it? it? Does to build time. a business with value yeah. and this whole notion that you can kind of do it overnight is is unrealistic, wouldn't you say? For most of us it is. Uh, mm. The odd freak, you know, it happens to the odd freak and unfortunately yeah. the other one that gets the, the headlines. Yes. Uh, and people think, "Oh, I want to be like that." But um, you've probably got as much chance as being superman as you have right. that. Yeah. Uh, for most of us, um, you know, we, 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 we're probably a bit more, bit more plodding, I suppose. And mm. um, I, look, I find people that bypass this process of, of strategy are people who end up working very hard and very long and in a few years' time, unfortunately, are pretty much where they started off. Yes, I'm burnt so out. So by going through the discipline of the strategic planning process, and I don't mean the traditional strategic plan, which is pretty much there's no strategy in it, Right. By going through that discipline of the strategic planning process, we make sure that all the resources of time, of skill, uh, of energy, of money are well directed. And that, and that, that is then a matter of focus. So mm. uh, I've got a saying, you know, the enemy of great strategy is the good idea. Right. So well, what happens is we walk through this with a client and it's a, a 16 week process coming up with a strategy. Yeah. And then they get good ideas. Right. And if they're not very careful, those good ideas can distract, distract you, them yeah. from yeah. focusing on the execution of that strategy. Okay. And Tom, if you want to find out more about this, we can see it on your website? Best thing to do is actually yeah. to email me, tom at 8020circle.com. So that's okay. the numbers 8020, tom at 8020circle.com. Okay. We can give people the next step, which is probably to come along to one of our free preview webinars. We run okay. them over the internet where people yep. can kind of sit in the anonymity of their own office or home, have a look at what we do and, and make a call on it. Okay, great. Tom, thank you very much for spending time with us today. Thank You're you. welcome. Thanks, Robert.